Hello Ed5 family. I'm glad to come to you for the first time in 2021. Happy New Year. In this new year, my first story is inspired by random thoughts. In the secret place of the altar of sanctification, basically meaning the shower room, my mind tends to go into overdrive with thoughts. This pattern of thought came to me in December 2020. However, with too much to do, I penned a sketch and now could just be the best timing to broadcast it. Today, I will talk to you about choices. Every day brings new choices. For some, who would like to steer clear of controversy? They think absconding from making choices saves the day. Not making a choice between two options, however, is just a third option, but it is also a choice. Life is all about making choices. Always do your best to make the right ones and always do your, your best to learn from the wrong ones. Author John C. Maxwell says, life is a matter of choices and every choice you make, makes you. You are a reflection of the choices you have made. Individuals, families, organizations and nations are a reflection of the choices they make. If you want a different result, make a different choice. Your life is a result of the choices you make. If you don't like your life, it is time to start making better choices. Every morning, you have two choices. Continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase your dreams. The choice is yours. There are two primary choices in life. To accept conditions as they exist or accept the responsibility for changing them, according to Dennis Waitley. Our belief systems largely influence our choices. In Christianity, the sovereign God, too, allows his creation to choose. Beliefs are choices. First, you choose your beliefs, then your beliefs affect your choices, according to Roy T. Bennett. In Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, for example, we read, I call heaven and earth to witness against you today, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life that you and your offspring may live. Also in Joshua chapter 24, verse 15, Joshua a leader and a commander of the Israelite troops gives them room to make a choice. He says, Choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your fathers served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Doing life is like being exposed to a stimulus. You cannot control how others live their lives, behave toward you, what they say or do, but you can always choose how you respond. It is your choices and decisions that determine how far you go in life. Attitude is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Optimism is a choice. Kindness is a choice. Giving is a choice. Respect is a choice. Eating and living healthy is a choice. Godliness is a choice, just as godlessness is a choice. Holiness is a choice. Integrity is a choice. Putting our faith in Jesus Christ is a choice. Perhaps the most important of choices I have personally ever taken. Whatever choice you make, makes you. So choose wisely. You may be free to make whatever choice you want, but you might not be free from the consequences of the choice. Nelson Mandela once said, may your choices reflect your hopes 
not your fears. Decisions are the hardest thing to make, especially when it is a choice between where you should be and where you want to be. Make good choices today so you don't have regrets tomorrow. Shalom.